<clears throat> good evening friends i hope you're all doing well uh today i'm going to show you how we can create uh kubernetes uh cluster in aks and deploy a sample application so let's get started uh we are going to use eks ctl and uh, if you have installed eks ctl previously you don't need to do anything if you haven't installed it then uh, there is a website eksctl.io and uh, here you can get the instructions of how you can install the EKCTL. So if you go to this website, there is an introduction section and uh, here is the installation instruction. For uh, Windows, uh, I have installed using Chocolate install EKCTL. For Mac and Linux, the command is given below. Okay, so I have already installed EKCTL here and I have already configured AWS CLI into my local. So if you have done this, then you can just create uh, EKS, a Kubernetes cluster by running this follows command. EKS CTL create cluster. That will automatically create your cluster and uh, also uh, add, create node groups and also create nodes. It usually takes around uh, 10 minutes time. So I will pause the video and come back when this is done. Okay, so uh, it took some time, but uh, the cluster is ready now. If I go to the details, okay. I will see there is a compute resource. There's a notebook has been created. Okay, I, I don't see this because I am in a diff, uh, in a, in a coming from a role that doesn't have permission. But if you have permission, you can see the node groups as nodes as well. So that's good. Then uh, here it's our command. It shows what has been done so far. Okay, let me clear my screen. Now I'm going to uh, install uh, Prometheus. And uh, let's try to do that. Uh, here is the official documentation from EKS that how can you create parameters. So create a namespace first. Then uh, we are going to use Helm to uh, add the repo. I have already installed Helm in my desktop. If you haven't, please install him using Chocolate. Okay. Then what we're going to do is, I'm just going to copy this command and try to run it. Okay, first of all, uh, let's see uh, what we have with CTL. So probably we have to add uh, the authentication for our local CTL plugin. So AWS EKS. Update cube config, and then we have the region, which is US East one, and the name, name I have to copy. So this is the name. If that is being done, then now I think uh, I can run this command now. I have to run this again, kubectl, because I think that was logged in or linked with other kubectl uh, account. Okay, namespace already exists. That's okay. Let's try to install this one. CTL cluster and reachable.
Well, let's try to check if I can do that with one more mind. Cloud shell. I need to run this command with the cloud shell. To update my local config. Let me pause the video for a moment. Okay, so uh, the issue was my local Windows installation of Helm was maybe outdated. So I just used Cloud Shell to install the Helm. And then I run the exact same command here, which is uh, actually showing uh, installing the Prometheus with persistent volume. And uh, this is the temporary URL that he gave. I'm going to copy this and store it in a notepad. Then uh, let's try to uh, copy this as well if we wanted to run it locally as a port forwarding. So that's going to be important. And then I'm going to clear the screen and get your CTL. Get ports, uh, get all the name spaces from a TUS. Did I spell it correctly? I did, I did. Okay, so it is pending. Okay, what happens is that, uh, due to inavailability of persistent storage, this might cause an issue. So I'm going to add uh, persistent storage. So add uh, EBS persistent storage in AWS EKS. So as we have given command to use persistent storage, but then it was not there, so it shows pending now i'm going to add present storage so there is a csi driver for ebs let's try to use that okay um pretty much it have an iam policy on roll so let's click an iam policy on roll copy this go to my notepad okay so uh you system that's okay my cluster so replace the cluster with my cluster okay and then everything it is good to go so let's copy this i can actually close this one right now so let's just run this on the terminal Should be okay. Okay. 
Okay. We have to do four by this. Okay, and uh, there should be something. OIDC, yes. Yes. Just to replace the cluster name. Okay, uh, that's one, then just copy paste it. And the last part here also need to replace the cluster name. So where is the cluster name? That's it, right? Now let's try to paste it, run it. And it should be okay now. Yeah, that is okay. Let's go back to our initial command that we wanted to run for the EBS permission. Okay, it is being created. That's good. Okay, so while it's being created, let's go to our CSI driver. This is completed and then uh, we're not using KMS, so I don't think this is required. Let's go here and um, copy this line. Okay, this is done. I'm going to paste this command again for doing the CSS trace, CSI driver. If some error, right? Let's try to debug this. But it says it appears option commands command. Right, there is an issue. Uh, this command for some reason it's not working so i think it might be outdated and uh, this is a prerequisite okay i think i was in the csi add-on this is the one that we need to run okay let's run it here <clears throat> replace the cluster name with my cluster then uh replace the i account id so just go here and Grab the account ID. <clears throat> this is the account ID. And a lot of people don't show these processes because you just create it uh, once and do this. You don't have to do this for next times, but I'm going to show you because these, these are the things that you're going to face when you are going to create uh, clusters from scratch. Okay, now what? Uh, okay, so uh, in short, I ran those comments here for adding up uh, EBS CSI driver. So 
you can just uh, copy this from here. This is the official documentation. Just replace your cluster name and account ID and it should be fine. So then um, I just uh, get the all uh, ports and now it seems it's running. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, create a port forwarding for the Prometheus start. So cube CTL port forward and Prometheus nine zero nine zero and then zero nine zero. Let's see what we'll do. It's uh, <coughs> It, it will do the port forwarding from the Kubernetes cluster for this port to the my local local host. So if I now go to localhost and nine zero nine zero, it should show me Prometheus dashboard. If everything works fine, yeah, there it is. So it is port forwarding, and if I see targets, it we should show me all the targets that is running the nodes, the C, C advisor, blah blah blah, all those things. Okay, that is good. Now, <coughs> sorry, now let me um, deploy a sample application and um, we can now deploy Grafana here as well. So, I'm going to just give you the links which you can install here. So here, if I go to uh, Matthews, that's okay. If I'm going to go to... Okay, you can deploy the Grafana as well, and that will give you nice dashboards. So, uh, deploy. Yes. Yeah, actually, here is the command. So, we so I need to create this file actually. So, the file is uh, to create a directory here, like environment, Grafana, Grafana, Grafana. So, I'm going to create a folder here. Just open this in VS Code. And then add a file, grafana.yaml. Grafana.yaml. <laughs> Sorry. Then I'm going to just uh, copy this data source, paste it here. Okay. All looks good. Just the Prometheus. Prometheus, where is the Prometheus? Yeah, here it is. My Prometheus host name. I just need to upgrade that. Just add HTTP. Sounds good. Now, um, what we have to do is now um, create namespace. Okay, uh, actually I have to open another dash. Um, Okay, um, because there's already running one, 
Okay, thank you. Open eye power shell as well. Then this part, okay. This will probably not work in the power cell. So I have to change it somewhere to a uh, cache. Possible. Then can I create a new one? Maybe I try from here. Okay. This is PowerShell, but I'm just going to dash. Is it possible? Let's see. Yeah, it is possible. Okay, just I'm going to um, sorry. Just what I have to do is replace the value from environment. Great. Okay, uh, the bump may start with that performance. Let's see. Okay, same issue. Uh, due to my local host, probably this will not work. I have to go to my cloud shell. It looks very much annoying. I do understand, but this is how AWS is pretty much kind of a very really annoying thing, I guess, like AWS. I don't know how things work. Why things are so much complex where you have EKS CTL and you can just create something out of it. Anyway, uh, let's go back. Okay, you have to install Helm and then run this. Okay, that is pretty much it. Okay, install hand that is also available in AWS documentation. Just copy paste it. Pretty much it. And then uh, just run these two line commands or three line commands actually. I already had this file downloaded previously, mostly. Oh, this is not, so just copy this. And paste it. That's it. It should install Helm. That's okay. Then we are going to add the repo for Grafana. That's it. Okay, now let's run our thing. But then we have to actually now we have to do this one more time again. Well, actually, we have to copy this one more time. 
and replace the value um, with this one. Okay, it's same. That's good. Copy this line, paste it. Sorry, I am just missing out things. It is That was okay. I do understand that it is pretty much, pretty much annoying to see all of those things are just doesn't work, but this is, this is AWS EKS. You always expect something will not work and then you spend hours, hours on it to figure it out. Okay, I don't do this, KKS, and then update config EGM list is one and the cluster name is exciting mongoose. <laughs> Okay, now what we are going to run is this part, right? Let's see what happens here. It should work or not. Okay. Let's try to do this. What happens here? Copy, paste it. Let's see if all, all things are running fine. Cube CTL, get all namespace stuff online. Okay, so it looks like it's working. Let's see what is here. Copy it and paste it. Oh, it is working. That is awesome. Great. Uh, how can I get the different password? How can I get the default password? Uh, uh, here it is. This is the command to get the default password. Paste it. And there it is. It is awesome. Copy the default password. Right name and then password. Login. That is good. Confirm. Now create a new. Import your dashboard. So six four one seven probably the ID. Kafana. On if you use import accident. Okay, it is up and running, right? Awesome, awesome, cool. So we have all those things up and running. We have uh, like everything here. 
cluster memory, CPU ports, deployment replicas, has some ports running, number of ports two, ports unknown. This is cool. So at least we are at the end of our tutorial. What we did, we did a lot of things here, and most of the things didn't work because I was also trying for the first time. Don't get angry with me because I I didn't practice it and then try to come here, but I just do things and also share with you. But get prepared that if you wanted to run something in AKS, AWS, it might not something always work. And also it doesn't test in the official documentations. So uh, if you read that how to install Prometheus, they will tell you, but they will never tell you that you need EBS, uh, EBS CSI add-on. That is, uh, they will not going to tell you, you need to identify. And I also identified by, by in a hard way, but I'm going to tell you that. So far, so good. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos, and I will going to continue more Kubernetes related videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm going to delete everything. Bye bye.